This is unbearable. I've just eaten half an iceberg lettuce to try and cool down. <laughs> We're Ben and Emily, and this is Alan, our furry friend. We all live full time on this 56 foot long narrowboat. Do follow us along on our watery adventures as we travel the UK canals and rivers. Has the pin come out again, Benny? It was well, the ground's a bit soft here. Like... Oh dear. This is the third attempt. I'm going deeper. Just looked out the window and <laughs> we've come unpegged, so we're in the middle of the canal, aren't we? So I was just having a shower and I've come out and we're just like this. So I need to pull us back over before another boat comes. Oh joy. Let's get on with it. Find some shoes. This is what happens when people go past your boat too fast. Pegs get ripped out of the ground. It is really soft ground here though. Luckily the back one's still in so all I've got to do is pull it back in. Hope we haven't lost our pegs that are now in the water. Yeah, it's really soft ground. Oh my goodness. Benny's gone to get the van, that's why he wasn't here. Anyway, it's all sorted now. Alan's clearly helping me work. So we're getting a new crutch cover for the front of our boat. Um, they're hopefully coming to start fitting it tomorrow. But we've realised that our broken headlight just will not come off our boat. So Benny's having to use the multi-tool which is what you can hear in the background to try and cut through the bolt the bolt there is just turning around when we try and take the light off so we've just got to cut through it so benny you should really have been wearing some goggles now you have some sunglasses on this is health and safety important steps to take on a job like this he does have his earplugs in i've got earplugs in I've got the visors on Ready? Let's do this. I'm about halfway, so I'm going to see if I can knock it off now, but it may work and may not. I might just open up a bit. No, it didn't work. Let's carry on then. Hey! So, can you just lift it off now? Are you ready for the moment? Oh, yeah. so exciting. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Oh. oh. I think the boat used to be blue. Ready for our new crutch board, hopefully tomorrow. This duck has a stick going through its bum feathers. I think it's okay. You can see it coming out the other side. It's trying to get it out, isn't it? Definitely not hurt, is it? It's just, no, it's just unfortunate. <laughs> it's sat on it and it's stuck in. That's it. Poor oh, girl. The crutch guys are here. Don't worry, we'll definitely be cracking ahead on it. Oh, no. Everybody does it seriously. So. Getting involved. Don't knock that drill off, Alan. What a little flirt she is, isn't she? <laughs> So you just take in the, so this is like um, a template, yeah. So 
so my rainbow chard's gone a bit weird. It's been too hot, so it's... I can't remember what you call it. Bolted, that's it. It's bolted. Um, so I'm going to plant something else. Maybe some peas or carrots, so I just need to sort them out a bit. Also, we went away for five days and <laughs> they kind of died anyway, so I'm just going to pull them out and use the pots for something else. Who it is? It's Stick Bum! I will get that stick out of this bum. Huh. There's no chance, is there? I can't even get them to come in here. Huh. Now, oh, now there's a leaf chest. There's a leaf, leaf chest. Leaf chest is made of stick bum. Kind of like That's a, more ornate though. It's a fashion. That's quite thing. a good thing. Oh, is this what all the young ducks are into? And look, there's there's grass nose. Oh my god. <laughs> That's totally fine. That's one of the other accessories that they wear. They just use what they can get the hand wherever they can get the hands on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Where's fish hat? I've not seen him today. Fish hat's he's, oh, he's please, like please the sort this stuff out. This is really upset. This is like day five. Alright Benny, you're gonna have to pounce. You ready? Yeah, You're going to really ready. upset this duck, but it's going to help it because it's just in its trousers, so. I'm the RCPB. RCP? I'm the RCPB on foot. What does that stand for? Royal Birds Protection. Uh, you mean the RSPB? <laughs> Chance I'm going to get in arm's reach of that duck. It's coming closer. You just need to throw it down here, Benny. Look, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming. Ready, go! Sorry, stick bum, we're just gonna have to leave you to it. It'll fall out one day. He won't come within arm's reach. No. Bye. Hi, guys. I just thought I should film this because it's pretty silly. Today's drama. So, occasionally we light an, an incense in the bathroom for obvious reasons, and I left it lit and it fell off the thing that holds it and has melted a hole in our sink. Oh my god. Really bad. <laughs> it's so bad. You can see my finger. So, um, as a quick temporary fix, I'm going to use some bathroom sealant. <laughs> You know, I hope that it um, works temporarily and then I guess we're going to need a new sink. I like this sink. <sighs> what an idiot. Let this be a lesson. Do not leave things lit on their own. I mean, it could have been worse. Could have caught fire or something. So it's pretty, pretty bad. You don't need a hole in your sink. <laughs> uh, <sighs> Benny's gone to the post office, so I'm going to have to break the news to him when he gets back. Okay, we'll see his reaction, shall we? Okay, here goes. This is really not cool. I've dried it. I hope it's going to be good enough. Oh, this isn't going to be just an, a little quick job to replace the sink because it's really built in. Don't do this at home, kids. Oh my god, I put so way too much on. And you're probably all screaming at me. What the heck are you doing? Well, I'm thinking the same. <sighs> this is just so that we can use the sink today. Well, until we get a new sink. That's so bad. So deep. So messy and horrible. Right, hopefully that will just keep it a bit waterproof. an idiot. Okay, Benny's back, so I need to show him what's happened. Will you, will you come with me? Yes, it's something good. No. Oh, that's Don't film it, just tell me. No. Have you eaten all the tiramisu? No. Just, um, do you want to just go in the bathroom? Oh, no. Don't touch it. Oh, no. 
Who did that then? Um, that would have been me. Oh, right. I'm glad it wasn't me. Jeez. Don't I've put in? I've put silicon in it. Oh. I'm sorry. We've got. Ho- it goes all the way out, through. You? You're gonna have to figure out. You're gonna have to make that into art or something, so that it so it blends in again. I think we need to replace the sink. Just that patch. Just <laughs> cut that patch out. <laughs> oh god! It's not, I thought you'd. I thought you'd like blown a hole in the wall or something. Thought there was going to be a hole in the floor. All right, not that bad then. Okay, good. It's the kind of thing I definitely. I did also get super glue all over your computer. So, <laughs> <laughs> have you seen it? Have you seen it? So it's supposed to be thirty-six degrees on Tuesday. It's Saturday at the moment, but it's still really warm. I thought it was a good time to do some laundry. So this is our little washing machine. That's where we wash. And that's the spinner. Still in stone, we're waiting for a crash cover, so we're going to have an evening stroll and See what we can see. We're gonna go out, you're gonna be alright. Nice walk to the pub. <laughs> That's really good. Poor old Rebecca. Needs some fur tan. Needs a lot of fur tan. <laughs> so this is the pub we're gonna try out. It's quite busy in here. We might go somewhere else, huh? We're in the Ren. What have you got under there, Benny? This bench has got really cool pictures on. So we've sacked off the pub and now we're in Morrison's buying some garlic dough balls. We're replacing what was lost. Oh yeah, from the um, the boat, boat tour. tour. But that'll be like loads of episodes. It's just tour. here, it's just here. Okay, okay. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there's like a whole flipping... Wow. <laughs> Twin pack. Stone was once a headquarters for the Trenton Mersey Canal Company. There is also a history of industrial breweries here. It's now a bustling town with good pubs, shops, and of course, a beautiful canal. Let's get back then. Let's get back okay. and cozy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Cozy, it's like 40 degrees. Okay, well, we'll just lie around and try and stay cool as we can. <laughs> Fine. Are you moving? <laughs> We're just moving the boat by hand to get in the shade because it's super warm. Alan's supervising. It's going to be 34 degrees today, so we're just moving it to that cool patch.
be a bit cooler, isn't it, Alan? We're under some nice trees. That was a big jump for you, Alan. Totally out. What? <laughs> oh yeah. Is that nice? Oh, instant purring. We've got her a cool mat for the hot weather. Just there. So what we're having for lunch, Benny? Tuna sandwiches. Made out of chickpeas. So it's tuna, tuna mayonnaise, sure, and then sorry. some seaweed. It's a tiny bit of seaweed, a bit of salt, and I'm going to put some of my spring onions from the roof in it. So it's a tuna sandwich. Oh gosh! Look, and she's on her cool mat. I think it must be the only thing we've ever bought for her that's just for her that she's actually using. But it is like 34 degrees, so. They'll be good in the sandwich. Look at that big one. Yeah. Look at them. Then you just mash it all up. Quite a lot of onion. <laughs> oh yeah, oh capers, we need them. It's a generous portion. Is it all right? Yeah. Look at Alan. I don't want to be on the mat anymore. It's really hot. It's 37 degrees. Benny's loving it. There's no need to be grumpy. Here you go. Crikey, that's quite a big slice. Yeah, for you. Benny's found a river, so I think we're going to go jump in it at some point. If it's safe. This is unbearable. I've just eaten half an iceberg lettuce to try and cool down. <laughs> guys keeping cool. Really nice umbrella that we've got. That's the crotch. That's your crotch. Oh, the, oh, the new crotch cover, cover. yeah. yeah. Posted it on the floor. <laughs> what are you doing? Making some music? Yeah. It's been 37 degrees today, mm. apparently. It's nice. So it's that hot, now oh. it's ice cream time. <laughs> How is it? The ice cream's amazing. Yeah, is it cooling heat? you down? I've only just started it. Okay. I just don't like the heat. I don't know. I don't know how you like it, Benny. It's nice. It's like, like free Spain. Free Spain. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to the I'd river soon. We'll spring. go to the river soon, and that'll cool us down. Okay. We're going to the river. I checked it out before. I had a little swim, so we're gonna have a go now. I've got my Crocs on. I'm ready. It's gonna be so worth it. It's only two minutes around the corner and the boat's cool enough to leave Alan in there. <coughs> on this bit, they're just around the corner. River transport people resisted the idea. Yeah. As well as the pack horse companies and stuff. This is what I needed so much. It's so good. I have to do it for the rest of the evening now. Now the heat will just feel good. That were grand. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for convincing me to come out. I'm coming again tomorrow. Yeah, it's supposed to be hotter tomorrow. I think it's, it's the it's the 30 cool, I think. yeah it's supposed to be 39 
degrees tomorrow and I think there's supposed to be thunderstorms at like two o'clock so it could be quite dramatic coming for a swim and uh, in, in a thunderstorm. What a lovely evening swim. It's 20 to 8 and it's still super warm so yeah that was so refreshing. Oh look, is that artist's bracket? Oh, have you found a <laughs> Oh, what? Oh, wow. Know where we're coming tomorrow then. That's much more paddling sort of depth, isn't it? Okay, it's Tuesday. It's really hot again. Bit hotter, so we're going back down to the river. We've got a paradise situation on our hands. Free Spain on our doorstep. Didn't even have to get an easy jet or drive for 15 hours or hitchhike for weeks on end. It's just happened. <laughs> Here we are in stone, instant. Anyway, so we're going down to the river. <laughs> oh, yeah, here we are. Just getting straight in. So Benny, how's it been working on a narrowboat in a heat wave? It's really hard to <laughs> concentrate when you're so warm. What, you got like a hundred orders to send out or something? I don't know, just piles of them, 80 something. That's enough, definitely. Yeah, I've been in the river twice, I'm going to have another wash now. I'm getting through these non-alcohol beers. Like there's no tomorrow? Re very fast, yeah. I'm Very so good. fast. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's been sweaty. Heat wave on a boat. Heat wave in a long metal tube. I have to say, I'm a bit disappointed there wasn't any thunderstorms, though. There's supposed to be two today. And we've had zero. There's still time. There is still time. <laughs> I've really gone over this now. Rather nice. Thanks so much for watching, and if you haven't done already, check out our other episodes. And please remember to like and subscribe to follow us on our travels. See you next week, bye!